As a regional council, Environment Southland manages the region's natural resources, air, land, water and coast. To help us do that, we develop plans which place rules around certain activities. Government legislation sets out the process for consultation. It's called the submission process, and it's your opportunity to tell us what you think. And it's important that you do, because your views and experience may help to change the plan for the better. Anyone can make a submission on any part of a plan. It's easy. Before you write your submission, find out about the plan and how it might affect you. You can read it online or contact the council for a printed copy. Begin by identifying areas of environmental interest or concern. A plan is made up of several sections. The issue identifies the environmental outcome that it is attempting to address. The objectives identify what the plan is aiming to achieve. The policies outline the course of action the council would like to adopt to achieve the objectives. And rules set out how activities are to be managed. Remember, submissions can be in support or against, and you can comment on just one part of the plan or more. Council staff are here to help and answer any questions you have, or you can seek independent professional advice. How to write your submission. You can use a hard copy submission form or go online to our consultation portal. Formal submissions cannot be anonymous, so first you need to fill in your contact details. It's helpful to say which objective, policy or rule you are submitting on and whether you support or oppose it. Be clear about the changes you'd like council to make. If you don't want any changes, tell us that you'd like the provisions to remain as they are. Provide reasons and back them up with facts or evidence. Confirm whether you want to speak at a hearing in support of your submission. Whether you speak or not, your submission will be given the same careful consideration as any others. Finally, sign and date your submission if it is printed. Then lodge it before the closing date. After the closing date, council staff prepare a summary of the submissions received, which is publicly available then submitters have the opportunity to make further comment in support or opposition of the submissions already made. Hearings. If you want to speak in support of your submission, you will be advised of a date and time to speak to the hearing panel. The panel is made up of councillors and or independent commissioners who make decisions on the plan. Hearings are open to the public. Speaking at a hearing gives the council an opportunity to ask questions about your submission. Remember, your submission is equally valid whether or not you choose to speak. After the hearing, the council will meet to decide what changes, if any, should be made to the plan as a result of the submissions. The decisions will be publicly notified and give reasons for any changes. Submitters have the right to appeal the decisions to the Environment Court. Key points for making a submission. Find out about the plan and its impact on you. Use the form provided or lodge your submission online. Provide examples, evidence, and tell the council the outcome you want. Confirm whether you want to speak at the hearing. Sign and date your paper submission form and complete the contact details. Lodge your submission before the closing date.